back over to Andy and Suze. Thank you for that, Ashley. So get your head around this. The Care Bears, Dennis the Menace, Inspector Gadget, Madeline, just to name a few. What are you Three times. <laughs> Three time Emmy nominee, one time <laughs> Emmy Award winner Stevie Valance is an animation voice actor and director. She's in Calgary to teach a workshop this Sunday on voice acting. We're just learning how lucrative a business this is if you get into it's it. It's a business. Yeah, well, you know, for a 52 episode series, uh, you make $52,000 for four hours work a week. And that's one character. And then you put your character, then you get two characters, three characters, you always multicast. The producers mm -hmm. are always wanting to do that because they get the second character for half price from an actor. And there's that so kind of work here. you have to have a repertoire of multi-characters that don't sound alike in your back pocket in order okay. to really do well in this business. But if you're a gregarious, okay. outgoing, show off, center of attention kind of person, and a lot of people are closeted at that, they're not necessarily good in front of a camera, that's what we're talking. Then you take, then you're in several series. So then you do the math on that because once you're in, everybody wants to use you. Hard to get in, but once you're in, you're, you're used in. like crazy. You gotta get in the club. Yeah. And we'll okay. talk so, more about Monday coming so, up here. You so can. the key is to figure out how to do this. Yeah. Um, you you do this as a, as a profession. So I do. I direct. The key. Oh, I started out doing voices. Doing voices. I won an Emmy for playing a dog on Madeline. I played oh, no. Ms. Clavel, the nun. Hello, little girls. You, you remember Ms. Clavel? Yes. And I the dog that Genevieve. <laughs> and one day they mailed me uh, a, an Emmy. I was up in a tree in Qualicum, uh, Vancouver Island. Uh, thought, oh, Sorry, in a tree? In a tree. Okay. Boyfriend, uh, tree. Yeah. I didn't want to go to the Emmys, and I'm Canadian, so I went to a tree. You know, I thought, that's where I'll hang. And uh, came down, mailed my agent, and said, well, an Emmy's on the way. And so wow. then all of a sudden, I became an animation voiceover director. There's probably five in existence in all of Canada. It's a very particular niche. Um, and it started out in uh, L.A. when I was doing on-camera acting, a beat waiting tables in between on-camera gigs, something you kept off your resume. You were mm -hmm. embarrassed back then in the 80s and 90s. It's like doing extra work or something. And now it's become just the coolest thing. So um, I ended up getting making more money doing that one day and thought, okay, maybe I should pay attention to this. And so then I moved to Vancouver after 20 years in LA almost and uh, directed Madeline, Silver Wing. Um, I moved to Toronto a couple of years ago, just finished doing Best Ed on Teletoon, Growing Up Creepy on Discovery Kids. And I just finished working with Tom Kenny, who plays SpongeBob. That's outstanding. I cast and directed and voice produced um, an animated feature called Young Doctor Doolittle, which will be out and hopefully turning oh, into a series soon. Fine. So. Well, we talked about the business. Can and you I teach. Us? And I teach a workshop. So that's the most important thing. All. Is I'm teaching and I want to get you, you guys. Can you teach us? Yeah. I would love to. So this is just I'm going to tell you the easy, the things. Here's sort of like the five rules, the five basic rules. If I was to bottom line it, have the willingness to play. Okay? okay. Uh, be a kid again, all right? It's about being in a sandbox. Never listen to the sound of your voice. That's the number one thing. If you are being a seven, it's not about acting like a 70 year old voice, it's about becoming a 70 year old woman or becoming mm -hmm. a 70 year old man. Let the voice take care of itself. Can't be afraid to look like a jerk, all right? No problem here. And yeah, that's easy. tons of energy. What's energy? Energy is not speed, okay? Let me give you an example. This is speed, all right? Mm -hmm. This is energy. This is energy and speed. Get it? That's the difference. Yeah. Energy. All right. So the first, so the best, fastest, quickest way to get a character and disengage from your brain, so you're not listening or stinking thinking. Leave the adult out the door. Out the door, as I say. Get into kindergarten mode again. Playing in a sandbox. Who wants to go first? Andy. I'll okay. go first. Okay. okay. So the greatest way. There's tons of laughter in cartoon. Right. Every cartoon has laughter. And it's just to put you in a great mood when you have an audition. If you're on voiceover burnout and you're like, I just can't think of a voice for this. Okay, here's a ex great example, Andy. Here's uh, John Silver. I don't know if you can cut away to that back there and we'll just show, who, show the John people Silver. at home who John Silver is. Swash now, if you were to, without thinking, okay, okay, this is the best thing. Just look at this voice. Just look at this picture, Andy. Yes. And um, take his physical. It's a very, very physical thing. You should be sweating after you finish doing animation work. He's got a pipe, he's got one leg. Take his position, and yeah, you don't have to stand on one leg. Oh, yeah. okay. <laughs> Just imagine. I'm trying. Now, if you were to not think, what would the laugh be? Just the laugh. And when you've got the laugh, I'll give you an example. Okay, this is just not him, this is a laugh. <laughs> Say, <laughs> out of the laugh, <laughs> once you feel it, my name's Stevie and I'm happy to be here. So if you were to laugh like him, and then say, my name's John Silver, and I'm happy to be here. So feel the laugh first before you let the okay. voice come out. Don't think. 
You're thinking. Oh. Here we go. It, Black. Whoa, ho, 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 ho. Great. My name is John Silver, and I'm happy to be here. Great. Now, stay, do it. And then what would the, what would the, let's just go right into the car. Stole your cutlass. Tom Morgan, I want a better look at his outsides first. Ha, how hard was that? He, Excellent. He's almost sweating to Yes. yes. That's I know. very good. I love okay. the heat in here. Here is one for you, Suzanne. Now, this okay. is Little Red Riding Hood. Okay. Now, what you want to do, take her physical, don't think, just be, that gets you out of thinking if you take I'm the thinking. physical. How many eyes has she got? She, you have to sort of be a detective about that. Little turned up nose yeah. that tells you about her character without thinking. If you just, an obnoxious little girl, I would say with all those eyes, kind yeah, of a know-it-all, yeah, right? Yeah. What would her laugh be? And I'm Red Riding Hood, I'm happy to be here. Definitely come from the laugh. Laugh a whole bunch for <laughs> Really obnoxious, yeah. Really obnoxious. <laughs> I'm Red Riding Hood and I'm happy to be here. I'm Red Riding Hood and I'm happy to be here. Great. Now, now make her five years old. Oh, I got a bit younger. Because she's five. <laughs> Good. I, I'm Red Riding Hood and I'm happy to be here. Excellent. And she's really obnoxious. What would she say? Oh, it's just not cheesecake. It's it's chocolate strawberry more cheesecake obnoxious. with more colorful sprinkles. I made it myself. Perfect. <laughs> I cast you both right there. You want to do another one? Okay, how we about have one uh, more? Oh, you want to play a woman or you want to play a panda bear? Oh, you better be a woman. I'll be, be a woman. woman. Okay, yeah. a man cannot be recognizable as a man if he's going to play women. Oh, They're cast no. all the time. Take her position, Miss Amanda. She's got little fingers together. She's got a little weight on her. She's a little heavy, isn't covered. she? Yep. Okay, now don't look at okay. yourself. Be careful of that. Now give me her laugh only. Don't think. Give me her laugh. <laughs> Maybe. There we go. That's a woman laugh. I'm Amanda. I'm happy to be here. I'm Amanda. I'm happy to be here. Read the first line. You see, Molesworth, this is what we philanthropists do. Yes. We volunteer our valuable time to noble institutions. Yes, that's fabulous. And <laughs> one more for you. How about a sexy girl or a scary girl? Oh, I like scary girls. Scary. Okay. okay. Now that's a big physical. So there's it's a big, big laugh that will come out of that without thinking her laugh. <laughs> evil, evil, evil. Beautiful. <laughs> My name is Medusa, and be very, feel it, feel it. My name is Medusa. And I'm happy to be here. <laughs> and I'm happy to be here. <laughs> yeah, fantastic. I had to throw my glasses I think we got a BT that. moment right there. Oh, that was you exhausting. Know I know what you mean, Stevie. You want to check out Stevie V's yes. uh, workshop here. Look, we've got Next a link. Next Monday yeah. in Calgary. Uh, I'm teaching. I really hope people, I don't know anybody here, really love to teach 10 people who want to be. I'm casting now. There's fantastic incentives for producers to come to Alberta, and I need to meet people, and they need to know how to do this. So I'd love to love that. Okay, we have links to Stevie and, and to this workshop on our website, breakfasttelevision.ca. I do feel lighter, better. <laughs> how about you? You get it out. I yeah, feel that laugh felt good. <laughs> Thank you, Stevie. Pleasure Thank to you. meet you. It's great. Lots Thanks, of energy. Guys. Fun. <laughs> More BT coming up. Stay with us. <laughs> you guys are great. On down the sand oh. and tone. When I was just a baby.